Well, the state of Florida just had its sixth execution of the year this week. Now there's the potential for even more in years to come. WEAR Sarah Gale has details of a new law that expands the crimes that qualify for capital punishment to include people who sexually assault children. This week, a new law to allow the death penalty for child rapists took effect. This law primarily pertains to children under the age of 12 in cases of sexual battery. One of the most horrific things you can do, taking the innocence away from a child. And this bill that was passed really makes the punishment fit the crime. Florida State Representative Michelle Salzman is a proponent of this law. She says that it has the potential to be a deterrent. So adding guardrails in place, adding another measurement um, or another tool in the toolbox to, to really fight this, like I said, this most egregious crime, I think it's a great idea. The problem is the law contradicts the Supreme Court, which has already ruled that the death penalty cannot be imposed in child sex abuse cases as it violates the Eighth Amendment. Attorney Jason Cromey says this will just drag out each case in court. So the issue that you have then is if the state does go forward and the state is successful and then gets a death sentence from the judge, it's going to create who knows how many years of appellate work. If that happens, it could affect victims in these cases. And the victims in these cases are going to be put in a position where they may have to testify over the years. Who knows? I mean, it's just uh, potential for uh, emotional toll on them is, is pretty serious. And Salzman says the real controversy is only the type of punishment. And the fact that we all agree, both sides agree, that the crime is the most egregious and they should get the most strongest punishment. Just the argument is the strongest punishment should not be the death penalty. The new law still requires an 8-4 to four jury recommendation for the death sentence to be imposed. Sarah Gale, WEAR News.